Hello, everybody, on this beautiful first Tuesday of August. I am Heidi at the Mice Guru, and today I'm back to talk about the Digital Disruptor, our hybrid event taking place exactly one month from now on 3rd <laughs> of September, virtually around the world and live in Stavanger, Norway. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about the topics of digital strategy and innovation with one of our disruptive models. First, let me show you what we're actually talking about. There you have it. So it's a super, super exciting event. And to help me discuss this today, we have our disruptive moderator, Jason Greenman. Jason, where are you? Hello, hello. Hi. Good morning. How are you? There you are. <laughs> so nice to see you, Jason. Welcome to, to always, this as always. LinkedIn Live. Awesome. Um, Jason, first of all, like we have to talk about you, like you are important here today. <laughs> I want to, to let the people know a little bit more about who you are, uh, where you come from, where you're based right now, what you're doing, what your business is like, and especially also how you've adapted to digital in this okay. recent period. All right. Yeah. My name is Jason Greenman. I'm the founder and CEO of Acomo. Uh, we're based out of Barcelona. We've been operating here for about 15 years, but we operate all around Europe. Um, and uh, yeah, my story is uh, I've been doing events pretty much my entire career. And uh, Acomo exists to help companies uh, connect with the right suppliers in whichever city that they're doing their events uh, with a focus on Barcelona, because that's where we are. And um, I mean, we really have uh been adapting to digital uh, since the beginning and i think that's one of the themes with with uh digital strategy is it's not a it's not something on your checklist right it's 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 a living document that goes throughout the entire process of your of your entire uh, business life um, you should be constantly adapting to digital because digital keeps changing and so i mean we started uh back in what 2007 maybe and i think we were literally picking up uh phones we may have been using skype which would have been pretty uh, advanced back in 2007 <laughs> whoa, uh, <laughs> whoa. Uh, to make uh to make calls cold calls and then we were sending out like PDFs and email uh, presentations to people. Uh, we had a one-page website, um, just really, really basic things to get off the ground. And the, uh, you know, the adaptation to digital has been how can we continue to improve the digital part of our business, so the, the non-physical part, uh, the technology. And so that has been mostly focused on, uh, on web tech, so building websites, building um, uh, a platform that is useful for for customers. So, um, and we've done that over the last twelve years. I mean, we've probably had three or four different versions of the website, but it's always looking to how can we improve our uh, our digital presence. Not only in terms of, I think when people think about digital, a lot of time they get stuck on 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 marketing, right? Digital marketing, right, is is huge and it's very important but your digital strategy is much more than just your marketing um it's it's really like the application of technology uh to create value um so and you can do that through marketing but you can do that with your processes and your business um, as well so um it's a huge subject i'm i'm really excited to be on this track for uh the digital disruptor and uh, to be involved so excited in this part. to have you too everybody's <laughs> excited <laughs> <laughs> cool. So yeah, I mean, and and what about uh, what about you, Heidi? I mean, how uh, what do companies need to be think about uh, thinking about when <laughs> when they're moving forward and adapting to digital? How, what's what are your uh, what are your thoughts on that? 
Right. Well, well, it's kind of like your story, isn't it, uh, Jason? I mean, first of all, it's like you said, it's the bigger picture. It's not just uh, your digital marketing, but a digital strategy is everything you do online. And we have to kind of be aware of the fact that most of our business is online right now, mm -hmm. even though we might meet face to face again very soon or, or, or you know, do a lot of our things uh, in, in regular meetings with clients digital and virtual and hybrid is not going anywhere. It's part right. of the future. So we have to really review and rethink how we operate digitally, how we are visible, how we collaborate, which mm -hmm. tools, which softwares we use. Like you said, technology is major right now, but it's also your digital marketing, which is completely different than uh, 2019. It's like we've, mm. we've kind of like moved on to the next decade almost the <laughs> next era of time yeah. um, I know that our uh, global um, innovation speaker Duncan Wardle calls it the fourth industrial revolution yeah. and then uh, you have other people talking about the digital experience economy which I use a lot as well but literally mm. everything we do is in that scope of digital living and it includes your collaborations your tools your softwares your uh, digital marketing but also your community building which is kind of a part of digital marketing and then also the way you bring out your message and you do right. that through your events and conferences and seminars and day-to-day -day meetings you know uh yeah. All of that has changed and we need to move on from those simple quick fix solutions that we've been talking about a lot to better, higher quality digital presence and uh, work, really, to mm. be honest. Right. Uh, yeah, so that's absolutely. the thing. That is what it's all about. What, what do you think? Like how how will we who will come out of this pandemic stronger? Like how how can we uh, adjust or, or what is the difference between someone who is literally focusing on digital strategy and, and someone who is not? What's your take mm. on that? Yeah, I've, I guess when when I look at like the, the digital landscape um, and, and I've seen this through the pandemic. Um, is that there's so many options. Like I, I feel like we are, um, this generation is kind of a victim of, uh, of too many options in the sense that there's so many ways to, uh, to include digital in, in, your, in your strategy that sometimes I see people just kind of going for the, the shiny new product or the, the shiny oh, yeah. new trend or whatever that is. Um, and it doesn't necessarily translate into, uh, into value for the company, the customers, the employees. Um, and I think the people that will uh, come out of this stronger are the ones that really take time to, uh, to think about their digital strategy and to understand which components are going to, to actually bring value to the business and start to, to implement those. And, and also I think a big one is to do it without fear because I think a lot of people Ooh, yeah. um, hold back on, on innovation and, and, and uh, including more digital aspects in their business because they're scared of what that technology or what those changes might look like. Um, but you ha at some point you have to dive in too because if you just sit there and, and think about it for four to six months, you're, you're losing time because that oh, technology yes, is going to change. Absolutely. Um, and I mean, for example, when early on the pandemic, I can talk about one of our, I, you can call it a failure, but like we, uh, we launched, one of the first things that we did is we launched a new website called and brand called MiceHQ because um, we saw a big need for content um at the beginning of the pandemic um mm -hmm. it was a nice website i still think it's a good idea so if anybody wants to take that and run with it uh let me know <laughs> um, i'm happy to, to hand that off to somebody but we we wanted to try something new a digital product we tried it for about three or four months we didn't have the resources the time a lot of different reasons and we just let it go so it's okay to fail as well um like trying something oh, new yeah and it not working is totally okay. And in fact, it's it can be a really positive thing because you can then drop that idea off of your radar and focus on something new that's actually bringing value and that, that can be successful. Um, so yeah, I, I would say kind of twofold. So people who know which digital strategies to implement and people who aren't scared to take the risk to implement them. 
I absolutely agree with you. Like fear is a big, big, big factors uh, factor, and reluctance to change. Uh, you know, and and people who are stru- uh, stuck kind of in their old structures, and they don't know how to implement change uh, quickly enough. You know, it's yeah. all very scary. There's a lot of things going on. It's overwhelming. Yeah. First of all, I'd like to take a moment to say hi to everybody because we've oh, had so many yes. shout outs already in the all chat. Right. Like, Let's hey, Naomi, good morning. <laughs> Sabrina, good morning. Now, hey, look at you guys. Love hey, hey. seeing you here. Naomi cool. was quite impressed that a Skype was around <laughs> in 2007. There you see, next generation already forgot about Skype. Uh, <laughs> Naomi will be our disruptive moderator, uh, future innovator. So that's uh, going to be super cool as well. And then Sabrina is saying digital marketing should be one of the components of your overall digital strategy obviously mm. and sabrina mm. is is a digital marketing social media queen and will also be our disruptive moderator on emo currency at the mm. digital disruptor i mean we have such an amazing team jason is going to be <laughs> awesome so exciting Robert says, digital strategy is your business strategy. That is true. There is a lot of people, there's a a lot of people talking about event strategy still, but I think we need to look at the bigger, bigger picture. It's not just about our events, but it's about everything Mm. around the events and there needs to be some kind of continuity. um, And you need to be, you know, uh, you need to deliver on brand and on Mm. purpose and on everything that is true to you across the line like not Mm. only have shitty tools here and there and (laughs) invite your clients for stupid webinars that are boring and then try Mm. to have a great event it's about everything it's about your day-to-day it's about all of your digital uh uh, productions and operations and ashanti nice to see you here ashanti Ashanti. Uh, the key the key is also learning from people who have been doing it so true and you are definitely one of those experts Mm. in the field of tech as well and you've been just as ourselves uh, really diving deep into all things digital and tools and you know how to Mm. how to advise people and 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 how to get them to take those first steps and move forward Mm. Uh, Mm. she also said uh, you need processes and systems in place as well to ease the work it takes Mm. and that is definitely true and we mentioned processes as well i mean it's literally your a to z it's absolutely everything and we Mm. have ronald joining from asia hello ronald thank you for representing your continent here today (laughs) (laughs) love to see you um I have oh so many comments. I'm just going to dive a little bit deeper because it's very interesting. Uh, Ashanti also said trying and failing is key. And you mm-hmm. said one of your failures with my HQ, but it's really not a failure, a mm. failure, right? Um, it's a true tech mindset taken in the tech community, Ashanti says. And I absolutely agree. You cannot innovate without failure. You cannot innovate without a little bit of fear. You have mm-hmm. to just keep moving ahead and keep trying. And a lot of it is trial and error Mm -hmm. so um, what we'll be doing at the digital disruptor is also very experimental and that's Mm. the key of it like global companies like the top leading companies are saying that innovation and experiment experimentation is key so Mm. there is uh, you know you need to remove that risk of failure or the fear of failure and just go with it try it experiment together and some things will not work out and some things will be extremely successful uh, and and uh, and become implemented long term. Mm. Sabrina also shares, I think so many companies have realized how non-digital their processes and systems are. So it's been so much more of a bigger movement and transformation. Mm. Do you yeah. agree, uh, that, Jason? That, yeah, I think it's a great point. Um, I think that the, the pandemic forced everybody into a digital world, uh, including people that uh, had been resisting that and so i think i think it's 100 percent true people were trying to learn how to work remotely how to how to have teams remotely the only way to do that was through digital tools and, and digital solutions so yeah I, I totally agree uh companies that had been sitting kind of in the dark ages and and managing to operate um with 
pre-pandemic had no other choice. Um, and, and the ones that didn't adapt probably are not are not around anymore. So um, 100%, um, digital, like you, you said you earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you do, are you a notebook person? Like, do you still make most of your notes uh, in a paper notebook? I am kind of a hybrid note taker, I have to say. Yeah. So I've got like, I definitely have a notebook, uh, which at the moment I don't know where it is. Um, but I also use like Asana and a couple other tools to take notes mm -hmm. on the phone. I'm trying to move it into digital, but it's really difficult to drop the pencil. You know, like it's just such a, a good tool. The, the classic notebook and pencil, but um, I, I'm, I'm trying to be more hybrid about it, bringing in some digital I'm, I'm aspects. I'm with you, I'm with yeah. you. We're, we're a paperless company, but mm -hmm. I still kind of sneakily write down stuff in my yeah, notebooks. Yeah. <laughs> but then they stay with me for years though. It's not like I throw them away very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. The, danger with, uh, the, the right. danger with notebooks though, is that if you lose them, that's the one big thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, or, that's happened yeah. to me before. Yeah, yeah it's a disaster. Yeah, yeah. I did end yeah. up getting it back though which is why digital is great <laughs> digital is always saved there's always a backup online true that true that ashanti also said tech companies iterate update evolve and change mm -hmm. all of the time yeah. uh yes absolutely and the changes are quick they are yeah. so fast paced you really mm -hmm. need to stay on top of things uh, the yep. events industry needs to be far more comfortable with experimenting and failure mm -hmm. that is also true ashanti like uh, we we've just confirmed the both of us i mean we are totally on the same page and yep. with the digital disruptor it's not just about the events industry we want of course to keep pushing that message out and first of all educate event planners but we mm -hmm. are also trying to at the same time educate in inspire uh, all corporates out there like really yep. every single company needs to be aware of what it is like to operate yep. in the digital experience economy and what they need to be doing to improve uh, the quality of their their own internal innovation what they're yep. dealing with what they're doing on a daily basis how they want to bring that message out now is completely different than, mm -hmm. than before the pandemic so 100%. that is something that we want to do we want to include absolutely everybody this applies to every single industry even it doesn't matter if you work in mm. energy or healthcare or automotive or, or it or finance yep. everybody is living in this digital world mm -hmm. and it's not going away so yep. yeah, <laughs> let's and, just uh, tell everybody and, that and on that note too i mean um you know, we sometimes there is a lot of focus on the events industry, which is natural because we we come from from that world. But at the end of the day, our clients most often are not the in, the events industry. Um, it, it's such a wide range of uh, of industries. We work with commercial real estate. We work with uh, advertising. We work with film. We work with uh, tech, mobile. So there's all mm -hmm. kinds of and within those companies, the if if they're large enough, there's usually an event planner. But there's also teams within those companies too. Um, and those teams often need, need help uh, innovating oh, yeah. and, and creating uh, innovations within their little group of nine to 10 people. So um, I think the what we're working on here at the Digital Disruptor is not just for uh, for the events industry. It's not just for uh, large companies. It can also be for for teams within companies that need some help or some inspiration in terms of how to uh, how to engage their team or their uh, you know their employees a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You know what, Jason? I mean, there's so many people when I start talking about this project and all the components and digital strategy and all the things that you need to be thinking about. People are just like. Oh my God, like that's too much. What are you even talking about? <laughs> right? So this event is literally trying to take it back a few notches and start from the basics and really yeah. discuss all of those components, but also not just discuss them, but by uh, uh, you know, letting people experience it in an mm -hmm. immersive setting. So that's what we're yeah. trying to do with the digital disruptor. Yep. So yeah, maybe we could see, we had a, a couple of questions that we set out to answer beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, how about what are you expecting from innovation stories at the Digital Disruptor? I mean, you will be leading a bunch of innovation stories and we haven't really com confirmed or announced the 
corporate mm-hmm. stories yet or the companies that will be profiled. There's a lot of cool innovation out there. So we want to make sure, sure we make the right choice and showcase companies that have already taken some steps into mm-hmm. this uh, digital universe. And something like I just got reminded of this, actually, Irina Graf, I don't know if you're here, Irina, but she uh, dropped an article about Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook uh, publicly talking about the metaverse now and Mm. the metaverse is like a huge concept like this is Mm. going way beyond what we're talking about it's literally living and working into in the digital uh, universe but on Mm. a much 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 deeper level so just the fact that he's going public with that after let's say already a bunch of years working on it right because those guys are way ahead of everybody else Mm -hmm. he's now coming coming out with that publicly and starting to talk about it. And people are like, what is the metaverse? (laughs) So, and here we are still trying to explain digital strategy and hybrid uh, when he is like light years ahead of us. So with the digital disruptor, what we're trying to do here is literally finally get everybody on board for those Mm. initial stepping stones those key elements that you need to understand and Mm -hmm. need to start implementing before you move on because eventually we're going to get there and the difference between literally who will turn out a a winner and who not is who adapts faster and is Mm. able to find the right solutions for the the era we are in right Find so the right tell fit. me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I no. talk a lot. Jason, <laughs> right. I love it. <laughs> what do you uh, expect? <laughs> um, I'm I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. This is something that's you know close to my heart. Uh, innovation and digital, the the merging of the two things, and and like I've said before. Um, there, there's so many ways to innovate and do digital, and and hearing stories about people that have found kind of the sweet spot, which is uh, an innovation and uh, a digital innovation that works for the company. Um, it's There's so much value there. And and I remember at university, you know, one of my favorite things was not being lectured at the whole, whole time, um, but listening to <laughs> the case what? studies, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, surprise, right? Now I'm having somebody <clears throat> lecturing you. Um, but the case studies, right? So these are the, the examples of people that, uh, and organizations and, and looking at the story of, of what they did, why they did it, how they did it, uh, what the results were, what they would have changed. Um, you, I think looking at real life cases um, is something that we don't do enough. And that's one of the things I'm most excited about is, is, uh, is presenting and being involved in conversations about real life cases of successful uh, digital innovation. Um, it, there's going to be so much value there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be um, it's going to be interactive and, and live. And uh, it's it's I'm very very excited to to be a part of that. Um, yeah, we we super like Ashanti cool. said earlier. You know, like we need to be. <laughs> I think sometimes, especially in, in in events, like we feel like we have to reinvent the wheel. Like, oh, this is the. I remember when when all this started, people were like, "Oh my God, uh, virtual events! Like, we this is this is totally new. This is." It wasn't. It wasn't new at all. And um, I mean, if we, you look at the the gaming industry, you look at video games. Um, there were so many uh, case studies, uh, kind of stories mm-hmm. that existed that we could have gone to at the time. And so the fact that we can now take a step back and hey, let's do that now. Let's go and talk to those people now. Let's see those stories. Let's. Um, I, I think it's going to be so much fun uh, to do that with you at the Digital Disruptor um, to look at really good examples of people doing this. Definitely. And and we need to be taking inspiration from other industries, as you say, like we are often in our little bubble and we mm-hmm. we attend the same kind of events and we really want to do things differently, not just by yep. chatting about it like we are doing now. Exactly. Uh, that is, I mean, I've, I've, I've come to terms with the fact that everything is is kind of the same style now uh Mm -hmm. these days every event is still your your keynote sessions talking in a home office setting mostly or at best a a small stage with a little Mm -hmm. uh, screen and Mm -hmm. and a a hybrid audience that's just sitting there uh 10 20 people you know that's not what i think about when i want to deliver an inspiring hybrid Mm -hmm. format i also want to show what robert said here 
you said our audiences iterate, update, evolve, and change and grow all the time. That is mm. absolutely true. And we are also trying to, to point them into the right direction. I'm, I mean, not saying we have all the answers or there's one single direction that is right for everybody. It's really a tailored process, but it mm -hmm. is important to discuss this and keep your focus on your corporate goals instead of just buying tools and stuff all around and then trying to figure it out. Exactly. Uh, it, it's better to really do it um, mm -hmm. with a proper strategy, yeah. of course. And so, just uh, to finish up my, the other things I'm excited yeah. about is um, Sean and Duncan. I mean, like you have, oh, yeah. uh, you've knocked it out of the park with these two speakers. These guys <laughs> are, uh, not only are they they brilliant and have really good insights, but they're so engaging. And so often uh, at the events that I've attended, um, the feedback from these two speakers uh, is is fantastic. It's know, it's right? well worth uh, the money just to go in there and 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 hear them and interact and ask questions. Oh, yeah. um, there's going to be so much value to get from these two guys. Oh, definitely. I am uh, willing to pay way more for a ticket to just hear one of them speak for 20 minutes. But totally. this is kind of really totally out of the park. I mean, mm. those two guys are going to engage the audience on a mm. whole other level. It's going yep. to be a proper longer a workshop type thing where everybody is contributing. And I'm super excited. Like, it, it's really awesome developing it with, with the both of them. They are really a game, top level innovators mm. and disruptors. And if you don't don't get inspired by them, then I'm sorry, <laughs> nobody can help you. <laughs> it's really that simple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In, 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 in terms of the innovation stories as well, I wanted to mention quickly in case uh, we have companies watching that it is still possible to get your own innovation story out there onto the schedule as a session uh, during the digital disruptors. So please, if you have any questions about that, do drop me an email and I'll be happy to discuss it further with you mm. and in the meantime also follow the digital disruptor on twitter tdd mm -hmm. hybrid and on instagram at the digital disruptor mm. important to say that as well and so, Heidi, what what kind of stories are you looking for if i'm a company and i'm uh, and i hear you say we're still looking for stories what what's your ideal profile if uh, for a company <laughs> that, that's a tricky one isn't it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am. We are not discriminating here. We want all kinds of stories. It can be a mm. multinational company that's been working with digital transformation for years and mm -hmm. has dif a different take on things, and that is able to inspire through their own action and how they handled the process so far mm. and especially mm -hmm. the difficulties of getting everybody on board you know you also mm. need to have your employees you need to train your teams you need to change yep. kind of a part of the mindset of your company and you Point. need to yep. especially after this pandemic re-incentivize everybody because people right. are bored people have been going through their their own difficulties at home yep. it's been home office work it's been a lot of things a lot of stress mm. uh, yep. and it's important as a company that you also incentivize your uh, your employees and motivate them again with a fresh approach mm. and with a process that is not going to be more stressful for yeah. them it has yeah. to be enjoyable and also a big part yeah. of of our event uh, explains that because we are focusing on the experience much more than mm. on the actual well of course you're learning a lot but we're experimenting together we're doing things together we're interacting yeah. between the virtual and the live audience we have entertainment notions yeah. we have amazing keynotes that are engaging i mean it's about creating that emotion and that is mm. again through so important through every throughout everything in events yep. but also in in a corporate strategy and yep. that can be a multinational explaining how they did that or it can mm. be literally a startup company yep. saying like okay uh, we started in 2019 this was the plan and oh my god like two months later we had to we uh, abandon it <laughs> <laughs> yep. so, so we had to start yeah. over from scratch and rethink mm. everything and this is how we've done it this mm. is where we've failed like you mm. said i mean we've a lot of uh, companies have been trying to adapt quickly but also have found that some of their choices weren't the right ones and mm -hmm. then they had to rethink readjust and that's yep. all part of the the plan and those stories are extremely inspiring educational yep. and also there's a sense of 
mutual understanding you know nobody mm. has the, the 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 golden answer the one uh, perfect yeah. solution to everything it's really mm. an individual story but each single story inspires us in a different way by by bringing something uh, different to the table so yeah. absolutely excited to to hear those stories yeah yeah me too Okay, well, let's just remind people to get their tickets. If you haven't right. done that already, I mean, seriously, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Time is ticking. Uh, We're almost there. It's a month away. Come on, guys. One month only. Yeah, and it's uh, it's absolutely you, the place you need to be on a uh, third of September. Mm -hmm. Either live in Stavanger, Norway, with us if you want to make the trip, or if you're in Norway, join us at FOMO Stavanger. And if you're anywhere else around the world, it's uh, at a, a a completely um, a great time zone. So I mean, the the timing of the event is is uh, is uh, catering to everybody. So US can join Asia, Europe, everywhere, whichever continent you are, join us virtually. And as we promise, it is not going to be just your sit and listen type of event. We are going to have a lot of fun together. We are going to experiment and we are going to enjoy an experience while we get inspired and learn so you have the link right here the website the digital disruptor.com get in there get your ticket there's virtual tickets there's live tickets and there's also student tickets for all of those future innovators out there Amazing. do you have any further questions for us there you have Mary Kay saying going to register right. today that's Awesome, Mary. We See you there, are Mary. looking forward to welcome you on board. Uh, any more questions for us? Now is the time. Jason, do you have anything more to add? No, I mean, I think I think we've done a nice little, uh, nice little quick half an hour summary of uh, of innovation digital. Um, there, there's a lot of uh, events out there. Let's say that, right? Like I, yeah. we're having. I think we're suffering a little bit of a. Uh, of like overkill on, on virtual events mm -hmm. at the moment. And the reason for that is that a lot of them are not worth attending. Um, yeah. And I, I say that in the kindest way possible. And and I really do believe in one of the reasons that I, I, you know, I agreed to come on board with you, Heidi, is I saw what you did with your last virtual event last year. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that this event is going to be worth attending. Um, and there's not many virtual events I would say that about. So, um, Thank Guys, you. That's awesome. This is this is uh, is going to be great. The speakers are great. the The workshops are going to be fantastic. The sessions are going to be fantastic. Um, the quality is there, and you know, there's so many events, but this one is is coming out on the top. It's floating to the top. So make sure you get your tickets. We want you to be there. We want you to join us and be part of the conversation. We're not just going to be speaking at you the whole time. So um, it, it's going to be great. I'm 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 excited about this, Heidi. And this will literally be the first step in implementing change uh, anywhere you are. So, mm -hmm. so definitely. And I love what you said about bad virtual events. I mean, we we just made a post uh, saying we've been abused by digital boredom, and that's literally mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, being glued to your screens and just falling asleep, and just yep. people talking about the same thing over and over and over again, and it's uninspiring. It's unengaging. It's it's lacking so many things and mm. this event is trying to change that entirely. Yeah. So before we wave you goodbye, I want to show you a little video about uh, which, ha which has a few more clues as to the topics uh, of the sessions during the Digital Disruptor. I'm the digital disruptor. I am the digital disruptor. I am the digital disruptor. I am the digital disruptor.
I am the digital disruptor. I am I'm the digital, digital disruptor. disruptor. You are the digital disruptor. And we are the digital disruptor. I am the digital disruptor. Join me for one day of clarity. it a lot of valuable content everything from social media to ai to data analytics to innovation digital strategy emo currency a whole lot of value <laughs> don't miss out and get your ticket today thank you so much everybody for joining and thank you extremely much jason for being here with me today i'm so really 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 looking forward to have you as a moderator on the day of the event remember everybody 3rd of september you know where you'll be right now at the digital disruptor thank you we'll so see much. you there we'll see you there bye bye, Take care. bye. <laughs>